Hey everybody, so today I am really excited because I am currently on my way to Acadia National Park in Maine and it has just tons of beautiful scenery. It's got some great seascapes of course since it's on the coast, but it also has some beautiful mountains, it has some great forests with uh, lovely trails and streams, some waterfalls, uh, really just a whole lot to photograph. And so I'm going to be up there for five days photographing basically everything that I can. Now this is my first trip. I've never been before, but I've heard a lot of great things, uh, seen some beautiful pictures, so I'm pretty excited to go and uh, to take some photographs for myself. And of course as I go, I'm going to be taking you guys behind the scenes and uh, just taking you along on the journey and letting you experience it with me. So I hope you will enjoy coming with me on my very first trip to Acadia National Park. Well, I've got my tent set up here, and uh, all in all, I'd say it's pretty good. This is actually my first time using this tent. As you can see, I've got plenty of space for my sleeping bag and uh, my gear inside, so that's pretty nice. So I've got the main thing done here at the campsite, and so now I'm about to go out and explore and see if I can't get some good pictures of the sunset. Hopefully it's going to turn out well. Not really sure, but uh, I'm going to go out and explore and see what I can get. So right now I'm walking along the uh, Otter Cliffs here in Acadia and I'm walking out towards the point and hoping that as I go around the, uh, the edge that I'll have a good view for the sunset. I'm not really sure, but that's what I'm hoping. Thankfully I have enough time, I got here early enough that I should have enough time that uh, even if there's not a good view, that hopefully I can go back and head to another spot where I'm fairly certain there will be. So. I'm gonna check this one out, see how it works out, and then go from there. I really wasn't sure if it was gonna be worth coming out here or not. I didn't really know how things were gonna turn out, but as you can see right now, I mean, it is just incredible. There's a beautiful sunset going on right now and I don't want to talk too much because I'm going to miss all the action if I do, but I've got my setup here and I've got my graduated neutral density filter on and I'm bracketing my shots just to be safe, make sure I have some uh, options here to choose from. I don't know if you can see that there. So using these beautiful lines right here in the stone for a foreground element. And I think I'm going to have some great pictures to show. Wow. So for my first official outing in Acadia, I got to say I'm really impressed. That was an incredible sunset and a great way to start a five day photography trip. So, um, man, can't wait to get back and look at those images and see how they all turn out because I think I got some good ones. But uh, I am going to head back now, get some dinner, and uh, head to bed early because I got to get up early, try to catch a sunrise. It's about 5.20 in the morning, and this morning I am at Monument Cove here in Acadia. And uh, this was on my shot list for the sunrise. 
Although actually I'm not here to see the actual sun, but more what the sunlight is going to hit. Um, once the sun comes up, hopefully through the fog and the, uh, the clouds here, then what it's gonna do is light up all of this. All of that beautiful sunlight should just bathe this in nice warm morning light and make it look really, really nice. So that's what I'm hoping for. We'll see how it goes, but I'm hopeful that once it breaks through the fog and everything, then it should be really pretty. And uh, I've actually been here for, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. I wasn't supposed to be up that early. I was supposed to wake up about 425, but for some reason my phone went off at 325. So I've been up uh, longer than I intended. Didn't get as much sleep as I was hoping, but that's okay because this right here is just beautiful. Definitely worth getting up for. One of the things I tend to do when I come out to a place like this, a place that's just beautiful and I've been looking forward to for quite some time and I've made a shot list and I've got all these things and I come out here and I tend to put really high expectations on myself for the kind of images that I want to create. And I just feel like I've got to do it now. I've got to create these images right now. And, you know, I, and I have limited time. And so that adds to the pressure because you just feel like I've got to take advantage of every single moment. And the problem is when you do that, um, you rush yourself and you don't really think through things and you don't allow your creativity to flow. So it's really important to give yourself the opportunity to slow down and take things in, especially if you haven't been to a place before, take it all in and really just enjoy it instead of putting all the pressure on yourself to get it all done right now. Even though this is kind of far away, at least I can come back and you can't always come back but I'd still rather get a few pictures that are really good because I allowed myself to take that time rather than to rush everything and take a bunch of mediocre pictures that I'm not really happy with. And uh, so I came out here today actually for that purpose um, after the sunrise this morning. And this is the Jessup Path and it's a beautiful trail through uh, birch trees and uh, tall grass and all sorts of great stuff out here. So I'm really enjoying just being out in the quiet by myself, away from everything for a little bit and uh, allowing myself to, to slow down, take it all in. And hopefully that'll stir some of the creative juices and, and get me going for the rest of the trip a little bit better. back to the campsite I got some breakfast I'm re-energized and ready to go and next up on my list is to check out some places that I want to shoot later um, I'm gonna take my camera with me right now but the conditions aren't really great for the kind of photography that I want to do so I just want to do some kind of groundwork and, and prepare for the photos that I want to take later on when the conditions are hopefully better so first I'm going to Cadillac Mountain I want to check that out I'm also going to try to visit Jordan Pond and maybe some other places. We'll just see what I find along the way, but I want to go there and again prepare for the photographs that I've been planning to take when the conditions are better.
conditions are less than ideal. Well, I was going to try to do a waterfall today, but I just ran out of time. I mean, there's still light right now, but by the time I got out there and tried to do it, I just wouldn't have enough time, especially to be doing long exposures and everything. So I think I'm gonna head back to the campsite and get a good night's rest so I can get up early tomorrow and hopefully catch a really nice sunrise. So I will see you guys in the morning. My first stop today is Cadillac Mountain. I'm gonna to try to catch the sunrise here. The conditions look pretty good. They're certainly promising. Uh, we've got some fog and low-lying clouds out there, so that should make for uh, an interesting effect. Certainly shows how high up we are and got the mountains all around here. Got these trees for kind of a foreground element, so lots of good stuff to work with. So now I'm just uh, waiting for it to come up. stunning place so I'm kind of debating about staying over in this area for sunset. haven't totally decided yet but I think it might be a good choice. Just we'll see what happens. Well I was this close to staying at the lighthouse for the sunset but uh, at the end of the day, no pun intended, I decided to uh, come over to Jordan Pond instead because I'm planning to do some astrophotography tonight and it's kind of far away. The lighthouse is kind of far away from those places, but Jordan Pond is much closer. So I've got myself a pretty nice spot picked out here and hoping that after the sun goes down, we'll get some good color in the sky. Um, the sun is actually already down over the mountains, but it's not officially down yet. So I'm hoping that once it actually goes down, that the sky might get some good color in it and uh, so that's what I'm waiting for not sure what's gonna happen but wait around and see and hope for the best well it turned out to be actually a pretty good sunset um, the colors were nice, but really more than the colors, the textures were really interesting. It was almost exactly like a brush had just been painted right across the sky. It was really interesting texture there in the clouds. So I think I made a good choice coming here. I think overall it's going to create some good photos. So next up, I'm going to be doing some astrophotography along the coastline. And I'm not sure how this is going to go, but unfortunately I can't take you with me because it's going to be way too dark for that. So my next thing will be in the morning. And in the morning, I'm going to try to climb that mountain right there, the South Bubble. And my hope is that I'm going to get a really nice sunrise from up there out over this lake that I've just been shooting from this angle. So that's my hope, but we'll see how things go in the morning and I'll see you guys then.